Starting off at number 10, we have the model and actress Cara Delevingne. The young celebrity took to social media to confess that the modeling industry has left her feeling hollow. Even though the well known star has been making millions for walking down a runway, she still is not satisfied with who she is as a person or who she was because she quit modeling and I'll get to it. She has stated that having a career in modeling makes someone feel so superficial that you actually forget who you are. The detrimental affairs that come with working in modeling caused for her to struggle with mental health and depression. She also noticed that when she wasn't spending her money on others, they were conveniently not around her. She admitted that she feels old and run down due to her career path, even though at her age, she's young, she should be enjoying herself and all the money that came with her fame. Good news is, like I mentioned, she has now retired from the modeling industry and is spending time living life for herself. Following along to our next spot at number 9 is Keanu Reeves. The actor is a household name that starred in some of the most popular films in history. Which sounds like a dream. During his early days in Hollywood, he was met with partying, fame and fortune, but it wasn't long for him to realize that this lifestyle was not fulfilling to him. Being as famous as he is, you would expect the actor to enjoy the finer things and like enjoy his financial success. But on the flip side, he has been very vocal about how little he cares cares about the money that he makes. Throughout his life, he has been met with great tragedy with the loss of his best friend and fiance. It made him realize that he does not need the great amount of money that he has to live a real and happy life. Therefore, the star reportedly gave his entire salary from the Matrix away and is known for donating millions to charity. Additionally, he acknowledges that money is the last thing he thinks about. As the actor doesn't dictate success with money and holds no emotional value in fortune. This mentality has led him to live a happier and more interpersonal successful life. Good on him. That's all I gotta say. He does do a lot of charity work. Moving on to number 8, we have Kristen Stewart. Kristen found her big break and made a fortune being the leading lady in the Twilight franchise. Though this was not met with a lavish lifestyle filled with happiness, believe it or not. Her Twilight era saw major criticism of all kinds towards the actress, and even though it was a career defining moment for her, she has tried her hardest to move past her role as Bella Swan. The actress has since taken many roles, but has fallen under the radar, some would say, compared to Twilight, we should say. Though this comes with satisfaction as Kristen has tried her hardest to remain antisocial from the media because she could actually care less about fame and money. The star has stated that her intention was never to become famous and that she finds the most joy when she's enjoying her craft of simply acting. Many are quick to assume fame and money is just met with happiness, but she could not disagree more. And spot number 7 is Lindsay Lohan. The actress is not new to the fame and headlines as she has been in the spot spotlight her basically her entire life. Though during her teen years she was rich and a mess according to the media. The fame and fortune left the celebrity with numerous times in rehab and a lot of bad press. Though her troubles cannot be mentioned without acknowledging the influence that fame and money had in navigating her towards this behavior. I can only imagine how hard that would be. With an entire life lived in the eye of the public, with constant criticism towards her appearance, choices in romantic relations, her her behavior was a reaction to this very unhealthy relationship that she had with her amount of fame. As Lindsay has aged, ironically, she's lost a lot of her fortune, though she's seemingly living a happier and quieter life. She's coming back, she has a podcast coming out y'all. Moving on to the number 6 spot, we have the infamous Justin Bieber. The celebrity started his career very young and has been in the spotlight ever since he was 13 years old. Being in the spotlight at such a young age definitely comes with its downfalls and it's known that he has had a very hard time in Hollywood. He's very open about it. With his mix up with the law and disrespecting his fans, it seems like it's just bad behavior but this all comes from a darker place. Bieber has confessed that he often struggles to get through the day for how lonely he feels when he's touring. He continued and also said that the fame and celebrity lifestyle rips you apart when you can't just do anything alone. You get depressed, which doesn't seem like it should happen, but apparently it does. Justin said he would not wish this lifestyle upon anyone. Also, his song Lonely is basically to sum up this entire paragraph that I just said. He talks about how he can have everything in the world and still feel lonely. I was gonna sing some, but I won't. Halfway through our list, at number five is Lady Gaga. 
The singer is one of the most well known celebrities, let's be honest. In a revealing interview, the singer confessed her personal struggles with fame. She acknowledged that when she goes out in the world, she belongs to everyone else but herself. The singer also stated that she is upset about the fact that it is legal for people to follow her, to stalk her, and that she can't do anything about it besides simply accept it because of who she is. During the interview, the singer began tearing up talking about her helplessness when it comes to privacy and her personal well being. She also stated that she has transformed into a different person since she has become a celebrity, and once she began getting recognized in public, it changed every interaction that she ever has with people. The singer confessed that she wishes she could go anywhere and just meet strangers without the factor of like being recognized. Next in line on the countdown, taking the number four spot is Selena Gomez. The young star's struggle with an illness always set her back, especially when she was originally trying to hide her lupus diagnosis from the public. Starting her career as a Disney child star, she has adapted her career to be the strong woman and talented singer that she's known to be now. But this wasn't done as swiftly as it sounds. Selena has admitted that during her Disney phase, she felt very violated because she didn't have any control over this because she didn't quite understand fame during that time. And while now she has more control over this as she has aged, she still isn't over her struggles of being in the spotlight. Being a young woman in the media, she is met with constant criticism, a little to no privacy, and all her relationships on display for everyone to comment on. Justin Bieber, but we won't get into that. This has led the star to struggle with life in the spotlight and its effect on her mental and physical health. Therefore, no matter how many followers you have or how rich you are, the personal struggle and criticism is always going to be there. I think she is the most followed person on Instagram still. Fact check me, but I think she is. Or she's close. Taking one of the top spots at number three is Billie Eilish. The pop star sensation took Hollywood by storm at the age of 17, and she is one of the most famous celebrities in the entire world. Though being in the spotlight did not help solve her struggle with mental illness. Billie has constantly struggled with anxiety before and after stardom. The singer has even admitted that when touring, her anxiety is even worse, and there was actually a week on tour where she had panic attacks every night for a week straight. And only recently has a singer come out to reveal the struggle to live with Tourette syndrome, especially when she was trying to hide it in the spotlight. Obviously that made things much harder. There have been many ways for which she tries to regain her personal self and hold on her privacy, and one of those ways is through her fashion. We all know that Billie is known for wearing extremely baggy clothes, but this choice was not because of preference. Well it was because of preference, but there was a reason behind it. The singer has revealed multiple times that her choice to wear these baggy clothes is because she didn't want the world to just know everything about her, so it's kind of a way to like protect herself. Continuing down the list, number two, we have Demi Lovato. The talented actor and singer was once known for their time on Disney, starring in multiple shows while simultaneously touring the world for their music. But with all the money that came with this very busy lifestyle, it didn't compare to the constant personal struggle and exhaustion that the celebrity faced. And there became a point where Demi had to step back and take a break from the spotlight to choose to work on themselves instead of continuing their current mentally unsustainable sustainable lifestyle. After spending time in rehab and therapy to deal with their mental illnesses, Demi decided it was the right time to come back into the spotlight. This new Demi was a healthy minded, body positive person who wasn't worried about the money they make, but was more concerned on who they allowed into their life. Ironically, when Demi came back into the spotlight and was transparent about their mental health issues, they became more famous for being so true to themselves. Finally, we've made it to number one and we have Amy Winehouse. This is one of the more devastating devastating cases on this list because Amy had such a successful career in the industry but was very abused in the media. You can actually check out her documentary you guys, I think it's on Amazon Prime. Uh, it was so good. Anyways, check it out. Though no one can argue that her fame and fortune was very well deserved for her amount of talent. But even though Amy made millions during her short career in music, she had a lot of troubles. Her struggles were partially due to her substance addiction, but mostly due to her sudden rise to fame and how that put a great amount of stress and shock on her. With no idea of how famous she would become, she was unprepared for the fame that she received. Because of this great amount of fame, the media 
Sophia began exploiting her for her addiction. Throughout this, she often got lost and felt depressed, which spiraled into getting involved with the wrong crowd and the wrong things. A number of people close to the singer shared that she had little to no interest in being a celebrity. The money meant nothing to Amy, she truly only wanted to be a singer. The singer did not have a big fancy house or any materialistic things that didn't really matter to her. Sadly, with the unknowingly amount of fame and fortune that she would receive, also just came a lot of depression and stress. In the documentary, y'all, it's really crazy to see what she went through. Taking the very first spot on this list, number 10, is the famous supermodel Kendall Jenner. With her whole life being in the spotlight and her family having their own reality TV show called Keeping Up With The Kardashians, when she was growing up, there was a constant pressure on her, she said. A few years ago, the model shared her experience with anxiety and how she has experienced it since she was a very young girl. In an interview with Vogue, Kendall confessed that work culture and the consistent presence of paparazzi has set her anxiety out of control control in recent years. Additionally, she acknowledges the privilege that she holds for the lifestyle she has and the fortune that she was born into. Though despite her privileges, she still has everyday and real life struggles that all humans do. Kendall ended one interview by saying, I quote, no matter what someone has or doesn't have, it doesn't mean they don't have real life feelings. She was trying to make it clear right off the bat that no matter how much money you have, you still cannot buy happiness. Swiftly moving forward to the next spot at number 9 is Katy Perry. The musician has had many hits throughout her career and topped Billboard 100 in the US. With all the success and money that comes with doing what you love, how could this make Katy so unhappy? We might wonder. Well, the artist felt the constant pressure to always be number one all the time and to constantly have her name in the media. But with a couple song releases that weren't as successful as her past hits, Katy fell into a serious depression, leaving her to struggle even more internally. The pressure that came with being a celebrity in Hollywood tore Katie apart and her mental health suffered greatly, she said. Good news is, after acknowledging her mental health struggle, she has been focusing more on herself, her husband Orlando Bloom, and their baby, which has led her now to consistent happiness and she's now making more music. So, it's just wins all around. Moving up the rankings, taking the 8th spot is the Australian singer and actress Natalie Imbruglia. I hope that's right. With her life in the spotlight, Natalie has always been known to find great success in the industry, be extremely wealthy, but also very unhappy. This is because after Natalie's hit song Torn was released and well received, the celebrity fell off the face of the earth and wasn't seen for a while. The singer sold 7 million copies and is one of the highest selling debut albums by a pop and alternative female artist, so why did Natalie run from this newfound fame? Well, Natalie would later confess that it was due to the fact that making a great amount of money and this newfound fame made her feel extremely isolated. She also made it known that the money she gained from the stardom gave her no real comfort because it led unwanted people into her life. I can only imagine how many people start crawling at you when you start getting fame and money. Moving up the charts, taking the number 7 spot is Robert Pattinson. Most actors try and cover up the roles they don't particularly like, but not him. The actor who started in the very well known Twilight franchise made it apparent how much he hated starring in that role. While filming, Pattinson's agents were so deeply concerned that he was going to get himself fired for his blatant honesty and careless antics on the film series. They were so worried that they tried their hardest to kind of like sort him out so that he could remain in the series. It had gotten to a point that Robert was so miserable for taking on the prominent role in the Twilight franchise that he had to stop just mentally processing that film and talking about it in interviews. Therefore, even though the Twilight movie series paved the way for his entire acting career, he was the most unhappy he could be during a time where his career was at the highest it has ever been and he was making a fortune for himself. He has since found other opportunities, starring in a range of films, especially focusing on indie films, while also becoming the new Batman. That being said, his unhappy past while starring in the Twilight films will probably always haunt him, because obviously everyone just loves him from that movie. Taking the number 6 spot is the American actor and musician Corey Feldman. In his prime in the 80s, Corey was one of the top actors of all time. This was met with him making a great amount of money and partying with some of the 
biggest celebrities. But behind all of that, the actor described having a great amount of money to bring a lot of evil in his life. Corey would confess that when he was a young actor, he saw a great amount of wrong things happen behind the spotlight, and he personally was also taken advantage of. The fame and fortune he received by being one of the greatest actors of his time was met with the shocking and disturbing things that happened off camera in Hollywood in the 80s. Which is why, as he got older and left the spotlight, Feldman confessed that he was living a more humble lifestyle and wasn't as well off as he used to be, though actually enjoys living this happier and more simple lifestyle. We've made it to the halfway point. At number five, we have Dave Chappelle. The comedian had a very well received comedy sketch show. His show tackled heavy topics, but in the classic Chappelle signature, comedic style. One would think a comedian that would make it in the industry would be ecstatic, especially since his comedy show was a hit with audiences. Everyone loved the show to a point where the network actually offered Dave $50 million to continue the show, however he declined the offer. Despite the success of the show, Dave was struggling internally with the concept of his show and the message that it led across. He inevitably didn't want his message to be skewed and taken the wrong way. Therefore, he walked away from the show and the spotlight altogether. He also confessed that the fame was not the scary part that led him to leave the spotlight, but his lack of control over his fame scared him. And when it came down to it, even with a $50 million offer on the table, Chappelle chose himself and his own well being over fame and a great amount of money. However, this decision has led to an even bigger controversy growing on right now between him and Netflix. You'll probably see it online right now. Articles are everywhere. He's boycotting them. Moving up the charts, at number four is Chris. Kristen Bell. The American actress has been in a wide range of well known films and TV shows such as Frozen, Gossip Girl, and Bad Moms. The A list celebrity has made a name for herself in Hollywood, though her fame and fortune isn't all that it seems. In an interview with YouTube, the celebrity confessed her long and serious battle with depression and anxiety. She comes from a family with a history of serotonin imbalance, so it wasn't anything new for the star to grow up with. Even with the stigma against mental health, Kristen has no remorse speaking up about her battle with her own mental health, and even admitted to taking medication for her issues. Even with her being an A-list celebrity and having a great amount of wealth, Kristen continues to struggle with her mental health to this day. She has since become an activist on the matter and an advocate for mental health transparency. Taking one of the top spots on the countdown at number three is Ashley Judd. The well-known actress has appeared in People's Magazine's list of the top 50 most beautiful people in the world, but she still struggles with her own mental health and self-doubt. Ashley has had a great and successful career, but quickly learned that all the fame and money that came with her celebrity status just meant nothing for her happiness. Ashley's life behind the screen was met with great conflict and struggle, with having to endure abuse from her family, assault, and just being mistreated in Hollywood, and of course, a highly documented, terrible divorce. The actress knew if she could not control her mental stability and the issues going on in her life, the career she built for herself and the fortune that she gained was not worth her inner struggle. After being treated in rehab for emotional difficulties and mental health, Ashley emerged as a different person. Now she knows that she doesn't find happiness in the spotlight and making a great amount of money, so she focuses on her charity work and activism for mental health. Taking the second spot on this list is Harrison Ford. You probably know him as his iconic character in the Star Wars films, but he has been in a great number of hit movies and of course is one of the highest and most paid actors in Hollywood. But all this stardom and money is not the life that Harrison wants to live. In a 2010 interview, Harrison stated that the cost of fame well overtook the positives and fortune from it. He admitted that the negatives that came with fame was unanticipated for him and that he never enjoyed it. From the lack of privacy to not being able to go out in public in peace, and the money was just not worth having because he struggled to live a normal life every day that he very much desired. He knows how fortunate he is to have had the opportunities in the industry that he has had, but he didn't become an actor to become rich and famous. He says he became an actor because he simply enjoyed acting. Because of his hatred for fame, the person who once loved acting and being in films is left with a grumpy man who just wants to live a normal life. Topping the chart by taking the number one spot is Evan Peters. He is wildly praised for his acting ability, especially his disturbing and frightening performance in each of his roles in American Horror Story. But after starring in many seasons, he knew he needed a break from the disturbing show as he said it was taking a toll on his mental health. 
Bible. As Evan explained it, he doesn't like having to tap into his darker side to perform disturbing scenes because that's just not the type of person he is. The actor has also mentioned that having to act as angry and dark as he needs to for the demanding show has really hurt him as a person and is changing him for the worse. For those reasons, Evan knew he needed to take a step back from his sought out role in the series and stayed away from the horror genre of acting for two years after his final performance in the eighth season of the TV show. Fans hoped that this time spent away from the show would let him recover and heal from the trauma that it brought him. At number 10, Marilyn Monroe. Actress Marilyn Monroe was one of the biggest celebrities of the 20th century. She was an icon beloved by so many and she was super successful in Hollywood. However, behind all of that success was a lot of sadness and no matter how much money she had, it still didn't make her life much better. Though she had an estimated net worth of about $27 million at the time, a lot of that money couldn't make up for the hardships she faced behind the scenes. She already carried the trauma of her childhood and according to biographers, Marilyn also struggled with her mental health and found it difficult to cope with her fame. On top of that, each of her three marriages ended in divorce, she endured miscarriages and faced illnesses as well. She could buy whatever she wanted for herself and lived a pretty luxurious life, but she still had her demons that money couldn't fix. At number 9, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra is considered by many to be one of the greatest singers of all time. I mean, he was one of my dad's favorite singers, so he certainly holds a special place in my heart. He was incredibly successful through his entire career and is estimated to have a net worth of about $200 million today. But as great as you would imagine the life of a famous singer to be, turns out that Frank was plagued with unhappiness according to his son Frank Jr. Frank Jr. has told sources about what his dad was like away from the public eye, saying that his father was often withdrawn and seemed really sad. Frank Sinatra's daughter Tina has also commented on her late father's life, saying that she feels as though her father could have benefited from antidepressants since he was known to experience depression and mood swings throughout his life. The singer reportedly even tried taking his own life on a couple of occasions, so that really just shows you that you never know what someone is going through and that even the rich and famous have their struggles. Before we continue talking about celebrities and their struggles with money and happiness, I would first like to take a moment to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this one. At number 8, Princess Diana. Diana was the people's princess. She was loved by so many, made such an impact in a lot of people's lives, and gave back to those in need. She got to live a lavish life as well as she was part of the royal family, but even with the fame and riches, Diana was terribly unhappy. She faced a number of hardships both in and out of the public eye and a lot of the pain she experienced stemmed from her marriage to Prince Charles. Though the people loved them, they were not as close and in love as they should have been, and Diana felt trapped. It wasn't until her divorce that she was able to finally find freedom and start her life over again, but for the years leading up to that, the royal riches just couldn't buy her happiness. At number 7, Macaulay Culkin. Former child star Macaulay Culkin was brought into the spotlight very early on in his career. Upon reaching his peak in the 90s after the release of Home Alone, Culkin continued to have a pretty steady career and he made a lot of money, but this money ended up causing a lot of problems for him. He struggled with his own fame and by the age of 16 decided to take a step back from the fame. The actor also got emancipated from his family after his fame and riches caused a rift in their relationship. After getting emancipated from his family, Macaulay went down a dark path and started getting himself in trouble. After getting into trouble with the law and abusing illegal substances, the actor found himself back in the spotlight again, but this time for his fall from grace. Everyone knew him as the adorable child star from the 90s and soon his image became tarnished. He was on cloud 9 when he was younger, but soon when money started to become a big part of his life, it slowly started falling apart, which as you could imagine, would make anyone unhappy. At number 6, Daniel Radcliffe. We all know Daniel Radcliffe for his iconic role as Harry Potter, but what we have neglected to realize is that he's been in the public eye since he was a child. Kicking off his career as the boy wizard back in 2001, he made a lot of money as a star of one of the most successful film franchises of all time. Though he became very rich and successful, Radcliffe also has had his share of scrutiny from the public. All the money and fame that he has can't take away from the struggle Daniel has had with fame since being a child. Speaking out about those struggles, Daniel has said, quote, people will boo you even if you're a child. End quote. Daniel isn't on social media because he chooses to keep that kind of negativity out of his life. And these days, things seem to be better for the actor, but for a while, he wasn't happy with his place in Hollywood regardless of his riches. At number 5, Avicii. Tim Bergling, also known as Avicii, was a DJ, producer, and musician well known across the world. His death back in April 2018 shook the music world. Although he was known for producing some killer music, he struggled a lot with his image.
image. Even though he was one of the most successful artists in the world, and having sold over 10 million albums and having a net worth of $50 million, Avicii was known to struggle with his health and his fame, even going so far as to take a break from music back in 2014. The DJ went on to say that the partying and wild times that are associated with his job are really what had taken the biggest toll on his health, and that he didn't enjoy that aspect of his job. During his break, he had two surgeries to remove his gallbladder and appendix, so he really did have a struggle with his health as well. Avicii sadly took his own life after struggling a lot with his mental health, and some believe that it was mostly caused by his job and being unable to cope with his growing fame. At number four, Britney Spears. I feel like this one is a given, especially after seeing everything she's been through. But Britney Spears has certainly lived a life of being rich but unhappy. She is still a very successful celebrity, having grown up in the spotlight and growing into a global sensation, and she's become incredibly wealthy as well. However, because of the conservatorship that governed much of her life, taking away a lot of her freedom and forcing her to do things that she doesn't want to do, she certainly wasn't living life to its fullest. She's starting to regain control of her life now, and she's even getting married, but Britney's case is a tragic example of the dark side of fortune and how it can be used to control people and their lives. At number three, Gigi Hadid. You would think that being a celebrity would grant you all of these amazing perks, and you would have so many friends because of it, but apparently that's not exactly true, and being a celebrity can be pretty isolating. At least that's what supermodel Gigi Hadid has said in regards to fame. Even though she's very rich and famous, during a 2019 interview with Elle magazine, Gigi has said that because of her job and maintaining her income, she's lost a lot of friends. Speaking on this, Gigi said, quote, I've lost a lot of friends because I'll get busy for a short period of time, and they're not reaching out, but if I don't reach out, then it's like I've changed, end quote. She said that because her work is so demanding, a lot of people don't understand how taxing it can really be, so when she disappears for work, some people don't really wait for her to return and just move on. To further explain her struggles with keeping her social life and work life in check, Gigi said, quote, There are people who understand that I love them and who know that when I get back to town, I'm going to call them, but sometimes I can't call every day because I'm in weird places, because a lot of the time I feel suffocated by my own work ethic and by the expectations I put on myself. It's really nice when you have people who say it's okay to take time for yourself. End quote. Her work has taken over her life, but it's not like she can really stop working because she needs to be able to support herself and her family. At number two, Megan Fox. Megan Fox had a really good career until she was essentially blacklisted after having her reputation tarnished by Michael Bay. She made a lot of money, but the downside to this success was the typecasting that she faced as always being the sex symbol in whatever production she was part of. Throughout her career, Megan has been sexualized by Hollywood, and people have made comments about her appearance and personality, some of those comments being quite negative, and Megan has said that it's not fair that she and many other celebrities are just expected to treat this criticism as normal or part of the job. In an interview, Megan said, quote, I don't think people understand. They think we should just shut the F up and stop complaining because you live in a big house or you drive a Bentley, so your life must be so great. But what people don't realize is that fame, whatever your worst experience in high school when you were being bullied by those 10 kids in high school, fame is that, but on a global scale, where you're being bullied by millions of people constantly. Not everyone understands that the deal. End quote. I get upset just reading hate comments on the internet, so to experience that on a global scale is something that I couldn't even imagine. All the money in the world can't heal that kind of pain. And finally, at number one, FKA Twigs. For singer FKA Twigs, she's had her fair share of grievances with her career, fame, and money. Though she's rich and successful, she still struggles with her place in the media. She rose to fame through her music, which already got her attention, but her high profile relationships also sent her a new audience that affected her a lot. She experienced this when she was dating Twilight star Robert Pattinson. Because Robert had such a huge following, some of the attention rubbed off on Twigs, and a lot of that attention was negative. In an interview in 2015, the singer spoke out about her experience with fame in regards to her relationship, and she said that she was struggling with the public's perception of her. As soon as they went public with their relationship, Twigs found herself under a spotlight that she wasn't ready for, and speaking on this, she said, quote, It's really hard. I can't begin to explain how awful it is. It makes you want to stop everything sometimes. It makes you want to smash your face into a mirror." End quote. Though she was struggling with the public eye, she did however say that it was worth it because she loved Robert so much. The boost in popularity gave her more fans and in turn made her more money, but at what cost? Common shoutouts. Lars Kuno Anderson says, Oh Joss, you are so Canadian. I don't know what you mean by that. Like I need some examples. Why? What did I say? Did I say a boat? Because everyone makes fun of me of how I say that. They're like, you say a boot. I don't say a boot. <laughs> it's a boat. Anyways, Chris Brown, oh, <laughs> the Chris Brown? <laughs> Chris Brown says Joss, AKA Sassy. Yeah, Sassy. If you guys haven't checked out Sassy, uh, just type it in YouTube. Come chill with just me on a channel. 
Mary Beth says, Another high quality, oh, entertaining video. Thanks, Miss Bedard and team. Shout out to the editors, y'all. I feel like we don't give them enough credit. All right, guys, that's our part two list. Before I head out, I'm gonna do some common shout outs. Tika says Lady Gaga is the boss. That is a fact. I will not argue that. Nicole Lloyd says, love your content and the way you host. Some of these I had no idea about. So informative, X. I always forget if X means hug or kiss, but uh, sending it back to you, and thank you. I try to be as informative as possible. Lori Alonghi says, money doesn't make you happy, but it definitely makes life easier to live. Also a fact. Also a fact, money, yes, money cannot buy you happiness, but in some cases it can make you happy because it makes uh, paying the bills a lot easier. 